Hello and welcome to CIS 2619. My name is Ahmed Al Zaidi and I will be the instructor for this course. This course is 100% online. Therefore, there's a lot of pressure going to fall on your responsibility to complete and there's a portion that I will do on my responsibility. In order for us to understand this course, this video is going to help you to navigate through the course. Starting with the home page, as you can see in the screen, there's an introduction about myself. And there's some rules that I will try my best to achieve. And you need to follow with that. Because this is a 100% online course, these type of courses, students fail behind so easily. Therefore, the weekly work is required your responsibility to keep working and not l allowing for overdue assignments and overdue work because this will result of less or poor grading at the end because if you have three assignments or three uh, items you need to complete this week and you didn't do it next week you are going to have six and that's why it's easy to fall behind that's for example so as you can see over here on the home page there's an introduction about myself and there is a number of activity or there are a number of activity and uh, things that I will go and I will do on a weekly basis like weekly announcements I will try to post every Monday a weekly announcement telling you what we have for that week telling you how our participation and if did the participation meet the requirement or did not meet the requirement there's over 30 students in this course that's why your activity going to help others to achieve it better like discussions or for example the first thing that you need to introduce yourself so other people can know you better because you know there's no face-to-face -face meeting over here that's why for example introduction one of the keys that you need to have you will have a weekly assign chapters of each book or chapters maybe more than one you must read the chapters and understand the material if you are facing any issues understanding the reading material let me know I will try to find another form of delivering a message to you lecture and I may have a zoom uh, meeting or I will have one-to-one -one meeting don't forget there's no on-ground activity over here that's why I cannot go to the campus and you can visit me that's hard especially now with the pandemic it's hard that's why whenever you have an issue you send me an email using the email that you have on canvas and I will set a time for you to meet if you need an explanation about what's going on I will try to respond within 24 hours of your email give me 24 hours of an email there's 30 students all of them sent at the same exact time I cannot respond to them at the same exact time I'm trying my best to have the response within 24 hours if you need a clarification use the, the optional weekly discussions maybe other student can help you and or I will answer you and that's optional your question for the weekly discussion going to help others if they have the same exact issue like for example I have a question about the principles of the seven principle of secure program or testing someone asks this question I will go and I will you know know the answer why someone pause something on the weekly discussion 
start working on module project quizzes from Monday. Do not wait until Sunday. Sunday midnight is the due date. That's the last time where you can submit something for that week. Sunday midnight. So if you give yourself enough time for reading and participating and completing quizzes, that's going to help you to learn better and not fall behind. Again, the deadlines are strictly enforced. We want to keep everyone on track. I cannot let anyone to pass the, you know, submit something past to the due date. So it's a strict due date, you know, policy over here. You need to do your work before Sunday midnight. I will let you see something where you tell you, hey, that assignment going to be closed on so and so on day. That day, you cannot do any more any work after that. You will have a question. I'm sick. I went to the hospital. What I should do? There's what we call it, you know, a documented reason why you couldn't do your work. A documented reason. So you will say, okay, I went to the hospital. The hospital will give you a paper. And you can ask them for a paper for the school. The hospital will give you a paper saying what day you went in and what day you went out. Admission day, release day. These two dates, the window behind in, in, in between them, any assignments that fall for you, for that assignment that you're not able to do your work, I will open it for you. Do not wait until the end of the semester, then you give me week two documentation saying why you didn't complete week two. That's questionable, why you waited all that time. What are the reasons? legal reasons you went to the court you went you know with the police they would they put you in, 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 in custody for a couple of days they will give you a documentation stating what's going on I need to see this paper so I can open it for you you are a caregiver you have a son that was sick ask the doctor don't be shy ask the doctor hey I'm at school can you give me a piece of paper saying that I am a caregiver for my you know, son or daughter or my mother, whatever. So I can give it to my instructor? Yeah, they will give you stating the name of the patient and the name of the caregiver. Not feeling to do work. Hey, I'm lazy. I cannot do it today. Or, ah, uh, he's, he's, he's not going to enforce the due date and so No, this will not work. You know why? It's automatic closing. I've already set that timing. There's no way that I can, hey, give it two more days. Hey, come on. We are not on campus that we, our assignment is on face-to-face. -to -face. Totally different. Online is totally different. That's why due dates are enforced. To make sure that you keep on track. Not letting any time to fall behind. Try, whenever you have a module starting, try to have a look immediately. Monday, go immediately to the modules, go to the week that you are on, and, you know, it will tell you which days that this week starts. And it will tell you the due dates for these assignments. You can go to syllabus. Underneath the syllabus, you will find each and every assignment that has a due date. Okay, so keep keep in quick and close eye to these things. Some of the assignments, especially projects, ending on Sunday, discussion and so on, quizzes will end the last day of um, lecture of the course, August seventh. Reason why, quizzes is one way that I want you to learn. You can take how many you know times or attempts you want to do for that quiz yes each time 
the new question going to show up it's not the same exact time but these quizzes will give you an idea about what things that you want to learn and what I'm looking for for you to learn so you will have a couple of questions you go another time another set of questions and so on as you go through start here second part of the home this you know introduction page where it tell you the course syllabus it will tell you they will come to this course and give you a lot of information what you need to have as a required resources there's two books for this um, course and there's a, a syllabus level you know ICTQP or B certified tester foundation level syllabus that's also required and there's a lot of um, you know the links that you can see these clickable links and you can download these files so you need to purchase two books and the third which is the syllabus you can download it from here other resources what you need to have there's a number of resources that you can include now the most important thing that you need to have going to be computer high-speed internet to do your work these are the weekly assignments okay these are the weekly assignment the projects now we have another place where we can see it that's why syllabus this is the syllabus including all and every important information that you can find office hours going to be by appointment only so you send me an email say that you, you want to meet me and I will be happy to create for you you know a meeting that's my email if you don't find the email from canvas all information about the syllabus the rules the policies for the school everything listed over here how you are going to gain an A or B the time dedicated you are working online this course is three cl credit class that, that mean you should dedicate out of class six to nine hours of reading preparing and completing the work for each week okay so we need to give at least one hour a day for the class you know I'm, I'm pretty sure that you will complete everything before the one hour but that's how we want you to do that's the perfect reading material preparing and so on over here the course summary include which the dates for the classes or you know the items that you need to do when it's due do by what and you have the dates over here it's already set everything is already set and you find do by so on so on day do by so on so on day in time announcement over here you're going to show to see all the announcement now I'm going to place two or three announcements the most recent announcement on the home page it will show on the home page however all other announcement that I'm going to pause going to be here if you need to read all the announcements now grades is where you can find your grade assignment where you can find all the assignment discussion you can find all the discussions and over here the policy of the school modules is the most important part of the course click on the module and you will see the course by the way your screen is going to be totally different than my screen it's an instructor screen let me switch it to a student screen how you can see it student view you will not see it with that pink something so module and you will find the assignment what you should should complete you can see over here all the assignment going to be closed because you have a prerequisite that you need to complete before you start the course which is the disclaimer 
So the first one, you need to click over here and submit whatever required items completed for all other to open for you. Over here, before you begin the module, what you need to learn about the course and everything. And I want you to see one important thing. Summer going to be 13 weeks of classes, you know, 12 to 13 weeks. That's why it's not like fall or spring, which is 16 weeks, 15 to 16 weeks. I'm combining two weeks into one week of work. So you can find over here May 11th and May 11th for week one and week two. It's not a mistake. So that's why you, I want you to see this video. It's not a mistake. It's correct. So we have two weeks going to be combined in one week. So you can see over here, May 11, May 11. See underneath where it say May 17th, which is the last day that you can submit a work for that module. Going to the next week, same thing. Another week, which is starting on the 18th, week 4, 25th, and over here, combining week six, week 5 and week 6. Now, why this question? This is the two weeks that have less work than other weeks. That's why I'm combining 1 and 2, 5 and 6. And as you go through all the way to the end of the modules. Now, let me go to uh, leave the student view. Let me say you went to one of the quizzes. Let me go over here. It should say until date. Do you see this? Until date. The due date is going to be May 17th. That's correct until date going to be August 7th that's the last Friday before your final your final going to be the week of August 10th and 11th that's your week for the assignment two days 10th and 11th of August now this is the last lecture day over here you cannot do any more quizzes okay So let's go all the way down. The final week, the practice for the final, also over here practice for the final, and you have the final exam over here. If you have any question, please contact me. I will try to respond to you as fast as I can, as I mentioned, within 24 hours. Hopefully that I don't pass the 24 hours. Make sure that you send it to the correct email, um, which is my name, my first name, dot, my last name, at sfcollege.edu. Again, welcome to CIS 2619.